Hi, this is Aaron Forrest, the Belmont Chiropractor, and I recently had some freaking disgusting low back pain, and I just thought it would be good for me to let you guys know how I got over it really, really quickly, that I'm human, that I still get this stuff, and what I think caused it, what I did to get over it, and what I definitely did not do to get over it. So, um, last week, Tuesday, had a bit of an awkward lift with a lady, kind of low back hurt a little bit when I did that. Um, Wednesday, it was pretty sore. Thursday, uh, got through my morning, I was in significant pain though. Lunchtime Thursday, went to the toilet and kind of got stuck there. My legs stopped working, I was in disgusting amounts of pain and um, it was brutal. Um, so that was, that was a pretty quick progression. Now I was already pretty inflamed. Um, I, my body is ridiculously sensitive to gluten. I'm like a canary in a coal mine. And I inadvertently had a mouthful of beer about two weeks ago. Um, that makes me I get a big, big rash, feel really irritable. I don't sleep well. I'm grumpy. Um, my joints hurt. Um, yeah, lots of stuff that you don't, all other things you don't want to hear. But, um, but that is absolutely my predisposer. So interrupted sleep and generally inflamed. So a little, little problem becomes a big one very, very quickly. Um, so what did I do to get over this so far? So what I, what I utilized was um, absolutely chiropractic care. Um, and, and I staggered to get in here, it was hard. So um, I use, uh, I mean, I, I'm, my spine's in pretty good nick anyway. I'm a big fan of this stuff. Um, I absolutely practice what I preach. I typically get myself checked out every couple of weeks um, when I have zero symptoms at all. Um, over this period, I've been seeing someone daily. Um, the guy's in my office predominantly. Um, on Sunday, I happened to be having lunch with a uh, mate of mine, Scott, who owns Mount Hawthorne Chiropractic, uh, easily Perth's second best office. Um, and that was a convenient lunch because he could keep things moving along for me. But, um, but yeah, so really regular chiropractic care. I've been using an ice pack um, fairly regularly. I'm not religious with these things, but, but 10 minutes every couple of hours. And I, I, I stay standing when I put that in there, um, put it down the back of my pants in a, in a tea towel, move around and, and let it pull some of that inflammation away just to make life feel a little more bearable. Um, now, a lot of people turn to chemicals and things like that when they have these sorts of problems. Um, my brain doesn't think like that as much. So I, I don't really have anything in the house to utilize for this sort of thing either. So I, on the first day, absolutely that the cricket was on, I poured a very lovely long glass of wine and, and enjoyed that. Um, that helped with the pain and, and made me a little bit happier as well. Um, had a bit of scotch that evening too. Um, again, helped with the pain, made me a little bit happier. Um, one of my colleagues had some issue with me telling folk that I'd had some booze with this, but um, there's all sorts of things we can take to change our reality. Um, experiences, chemicals, um, all sorts of different things. And those chemicals can come from the, the doctor, the specialist, um, the chemist, dodgy guy down the road, Dan Murphy's. Um, as humans, our insides are fairly, we've had many, many generations of, of alcohol. It's disgustingly safe stuff. And a couple of glasses is unlikely to, to kill you. Um, in fact, there's not any journal articles suggesting anyone's died from two glasses of booze. Plenty of people have died from having a couple of Panadol. Um, so um, either way, those things don't get you better any quicker. They just numb your brain to the reality of what's happening. All right, so, so that's the only chemical I've really utilized through this period. Lots of long walks, uh, lots of avoiding sitting. All right, and, and other things that I didn't do. A lot of people when they have these things, for some reason think this is the best time to start exercising and trying to get strong. It's a terrible time to exercise. It's a great time to walk. All right, and not crazy long walks, but long enough. You know, a good half hour walks, fantastic. Going for a really long walk, everything's gonna hurt, okay? Um, I haven't been doing all sorts of weird stretches. When your back is in struggle town, you'd be nice to it and leave it in neutral as best you can. Avoid the couch. Um, so I've been getting some really regular, specific chiropractic care, ice, movement, knowing fine well I'm not gonna die, so the headspace thing is important. Um, and that's about it. So I've got over this absurdly quickly. I, I'm still hurting, um, and it's going to be a while before I'm lifting heavy things at the gym again. I'll be lifting a few things, but be a good couple of months until I'm really hitting it hard again. When I say that, a lot of the time, as soon as the pain goes away, we feel like it's fixed. Now, I know if I'm well, if I was to, to cut into my arm, it would hurt for a wee while, and I'd put a Band-Aid on it, and it would stop bleeding. Now, once that pain stops, if I pull a Band-Aid off and pull on it a little bit, I know it's going to open up again. The wound it's going to open up again absolutely every time your back is just the same there's a bunch of little 
um, a bunch of stuff inside my spine that has to knit back together again. And that's going to be happening when this thing doesn't hurt anymore. So I have to give it some time for that to happen. Um, I have the most trouble with this with CrossFit athletes who as soon as they can start to walk again are back doing these crazy snatch jerk things and um, they're back in the office going, oh my God, it's happened again. It hasn't happened again. It's still happening. You've just, you can feel it again. Um, so yeah, this stuff requires time, some regular care and being smart. You know, this is not a great time to go eat a pizza and, you know, do all the crazy things. It's a good time to be really nice to yourself. I hope you find that useful. Bye-bye.